Yeah, hi there. Uh, these comments are for Susan. Let me get the lights over here. Uh, Jerry forwarded over uh, your email, and uh, I am the administrator and also one of the uh, kind of like the founders of the HDRunningProject.com. And I'm also over 40, so we have something in common. I'm actually 46 years old. Can you tell? Uh, anyway, uh, let's take a look at your question, and uh, I can give you some feedback. I can tell you a little bit more about a running club. You say, I'm in my early 40s and just beginning to return to physical fitness after accident and back surgery. So first of all, um, I'm sorry about your problems, uh, and hopefully you will feel better soon. You say, I didn't think I would be able to run again with the hardware in my back, but so far, so good. So perfect. So it sounds like you're actually a very smart uh, trainer. You're not doing too much too quickly, which is very important, especially uh, at our age. When you're over 40, you have to be very careful about your body. You don't even need to have hardware in your back. You just need to be 40. 40 is enough. Uh, anyway, it says, I'm a snail pace runner. Though I currently average 12 minutes per mile, and I'm only currently doing about 9 miles a week, 2 to 3 runs. Even at my best, I was never a great runner, 10 minutes per mile, but I love how it makes me feel afterwards. And though I enjoy biking and hiking, there is no bigger pain, there is no bigger pain for your buck other than running. Right, running is inexpensive, and it's a very effective way to stay healthy. Uh, are there any other slow pokes in the club, or would I be the total handicap holding the rest back? No one is a slow poke. Running is running. No matter if you run fast or if you run slow, you're still running. So we're all at different abilities. Uh, Jerry and I are both elite runners. We run pretty fast, and we have, I think, three other runners in the club, all women. And they are of varying levels of, of fitness. So you're not going to hold anybody back. Now at this point, I'd like to invite you to take the first step toward your fitness. Is go to hdrunningproject.com and you can learn a little bit more about our website and I encourage you to become our newest member. Remember, one of the main reasons that people join our club is so that they can have access to a professional coach. Jerry is taking the information that you're giving him now, and once you become a member of our club, he will create custom training programs to help you get better. Because like you said, running, it, it, it's, it's kind of like an antidepressant, because f for me also, it helps me feel more positive and more optimistic you know, in, in the face of, you know, our economy is not doing well right now and there's a few other issues going on and we all have our individual problems. But running is certainly a great way to help balance out all of those things. So we would love to have you as a member. Our, uh, our membership dues are not expensive at all. It's only $19.99 to join our club and then $9.99 every month thereafter. And remember that we're working with uh, HD events and I think the, uh, the director who puts on those races, his name is Daryl Courtney. And if you become one of our members of our club, you will also get discounts on local high desert races like 5Ks and 10Ks and those kinds of things. And I think it's a great idea for you. For example, I mean, you're starting to run nine miles a week, maybe a few months from now. You know, as, as a member of our club, Jerry can help coach you to running a 5K or maybe even a 10K or whatever the race is you want. Jerry can certainly help you reach those goals. Okay, Susan. Uh, anyway, thank you very much. Uh, for the email that you sent Jerry and uh, we would love to have you as a member of our club. All right. Okay. Bye-bye